Yeah, throughout the years, Ike's been many places. We've um, our first location was uh, right across from Frisco Depot, and that's the one that was actually opened up without a name on it, and um, that's uh, just an alley, just an alleyway. And, um, a lot of wildcat and oil filters came through there. And then uh, throughout the years, we've been off of uh, South Boulder, the, uh, across from Rialto Hotel. Uh, the one that we were most named, uh, most people remember though, was one that was at 712 South Boston right there. And uh, that and the one off Boulder that was across from Rialto are the ones that most people think about Ike's. And, uh, but the one at, uh, off Boulder has the, um, kind of the legend of, that was Will Rogers ate there quite a bit. And uh, anytime he came into town, he actually would, um, be late to any, any speaking engagement at the mail because he would eat at Ike's Chili, you know, and he always said, you know, that uh, he could eat, you know, rubber chicken anywhere, but, you know, Tulsa's the only place you could get Ike's. And there's actually a story that he actually came to my grandfather's house and got him up and made him come down and get some, make some chili for him. And, of course, we did, you know, and but he was a very, uh, just a very big chili, Ike's Chili supporter. And um, history and tradition of Ike's is, you know, a lot of chefs and, and cooks try to cook for their their own ego, you know, where Ike's has always been for the customer and we've, and our customers is what has helped us sustain a hundred year tradition. I mean, we've got families of three and four generations that still eat with us. Uh, we had a lady last year that um, celebrated her hundred year birthday with us and she'll, she, she said she's going to be there for a hundred and first and just, uh, there are a lot of good stories with our customers and, um, a lot of customers tell us that like if it wasn't for Ike's that their family wouldn't make it through the depression. Uh, a whole family could come in and get a bowl of chili and eat all the crackers they want because we've never charged for crackers. So there's just a lot of um, historical ties that you know go back all the way through the depression, World War One, World War Two. Um, just Ike's has been there for all of it, and it's um, it's just our customers are we're just we're blessed to have the customers that we do. They're very loyal. Well, I knew Ike and I knew his sons so that I started eating here with my father when they were downtown. And I guess, what is that? That's like 1934? About 40, 50 years ever since he's downtown. Also. Yeah, presently we are uh, at Admiral and Sharon at uh, 5941 East Admiral. We've been here since 1966. Um, this is kind of our flagship right now, and uh, this is where we cook all the chili. Uh, I still have the same kettles that my grandfather cooked them in. Uh, we do everything exactly, exactly like the recipe calls for. And um, I, I was a little sad that my grandfather, he died Christmas Day, wasn't gonna be here for a 100 year celebration. And then my dad uh, passed away May 2nd, but he, he did get to uh, be there for 100 years of Ike's, it's not the official 100 years of Ike's that we're actually going to celebrate September 12th uh, and give free cake and everything, but um, we use the same vendors that my grandfather used. We, we get our spaghetti from a place that's been around since 1882. I mean, um, our spices are exactly the same, you know, um, and nothing's changed, you know. We, that's, it's simple, it's good, honest food. I think that's what people appreciate about it, and if they and, uh, you know, we, we didn't have hot dogs or conies on menus until 1980. Uh, just my grandfather was just adamant about just being a chili place. But throughout the years, we've extended our, expanded our menu. And we have Frito pies. We have uh, chili, uh, chili cheeseburgers, which are tremendous. We use, uh, we get eight ounce patties uh, daily from Tulsa Beef and just make just outstanding hamburgers. It's, it's kind of funny that there's people here that, that know us for hamburgers and not chili. It's, not, it's kind of new, kind of tough getting used to that, but um, they, they're very good and they're packed. You, it's a big meal. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of good food.